Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to knit the trinity stitch. So this is what the trinity stitch looks like. We also call this raspberry stitch because the little bumps that it forms resemble the shape of raspberries. It's a stitch with a beautiful texture and you can knit in pretty much any size. Last thing to note is that this is a non-reversible pattern, so you will have to think about this when you design your garment. Before we start, I'm going to tell you about the basic structure of the stitch. The basic pattern is four rows. One hard, one easy, one hard, and one easy. At first, this whole K1, P1, etc. will sound like gibberish to you, but I promise you, once you master this stitch, then uh, you will be able to make sense out of these codes. The best way to understand this is that we will be making increases and decreases the whole time. So when we see K1, P1, K1, which means knit one, purl one, knit one, it means that we will be doing this within the same stitch, thereby creating extra stitches. And you will see this in a minute, so don't panic yet. And then when we purl three together, it will mean that the next three stitches, we will just purl them as one, so therefore decreasing. And now I will show you this uh, step by step, and then you will see how it is easier than it seems. One important thing is that you remember to cast stitches in multiples of four. So you can cast, for instance, 12, 16, 20 stitches, 24, but do not cast odd numbers. Okay, so let's get started. So grab your yarn in a way that is comfortable for you. We will begin with the first row. So introduce your needle as if you were going to knit a stitch. Yarn over, and then when you're going to pull to the other side, instead of pulling the stitch off your needle, you move your right needle behind your left needle. Then you drag your yarn to the front in preparation for purling and you proceed to purl normally. But you don't remove your stitch from the left needle yet. So you can see we already created two stitches. Then you yarn over to the other side so that you can do a knit stitch. And then you proceed to knit the last stitch. And this one, you really need it. It means that you really remove it. So you can see in this way, we have actually created three stitches because we never really removed the stitch from our left needle as we were knitting and purling. The next thing that we're going to do is to purl three stitches together. To do this, you will insert your needle through the three loops and then you will yarn over and purl the three in one. As you will see, sometimes the stitches are tight and then it doesn't look quite so smooth. It's almost like you have to fight a little bit with your yarn. Now we pull them over. Okay, so uh, this was the basic and now what we have to do is to continue these two steps until the end of the row. So just to recap, we take one stitch and we knit it, then we purl it and then we knit it again, but without removing it from our left uh, needle that we only do in the end. So thereby, uh, from one stitch, we will be creating three. So three stitches will be moving to the right side and then, uh, therefore, to compensate, we will take uh, our right needle and purl the next uh, three stitches together from the left needle. So now I'm purling those three stitches together and then I will have completed another block of two. I will speed this up until the end of the row. So we're done with row one and row two is very easy. Basically, you only need to purl every stitch until the end. So we're ready to begin row 3. Row 3 is exactly the same thing than row 1, except that we invert the pattern. So if we started row 1 by uh, knitting and uh, purling and knitting and creating those st stitches, we will start row 3 by purling 3 stitches together and then with the next stitch we will do the knit purl knit uh, thingy again. 
This ensures that the little bubbles on the pattern are really distributed uh, in this uh, zigzag kind of cute way that I showed you at the beginning. And row 4 is just like row 2, you just have to purl every single stitch until the end of the row. Okay, so that was it. Now the only thing you have to do is to repeat these blocks of four rows over and over again. For more info, you can check happyhealthycrafty.com or also check our past and future tutorials. Bye!